Hi, welcome back to Mouse People. My name is Maria. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I hope you're having a great week and please pour yourself a cup of hot tea and join me for some Disney talk. Today we have a fun background tour. I'm going to show you what is behind me and these items have something in common. They are all items that we use in our kitchen. So I thought it would be fun to display some of the items that are our favorites. So are you ready? Let's take a closer look. Welcome back to the background. All right, well let's start right here in this cubby. I do have the much sought after Disney's Beauty and the Beast cup. And this cup, it used to light up when you pushed the button on the top and you could have it flash or be solid. And this is well loved and well used. I would take it camping every weekend and enjoy having it outside. I think it's really neat. Um, the rose inside does come out. You can um, untwist it so that you can actually wash the glass. So that's kind of uh, kind of unique how it does that. And then the, the straw goes in there as well. So the Beauty and the Beast as my one of my glasses that I use. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. I actually got this at Target when Target was last summer I guess it was when they were doing all of the Mickey's 90th and it is a double walled metal cup and man this thing holds water ice water I can have it in there the night before and the next morning it is still ice in water so that's really I like that it keeps it cold for so long um, this is another Target cup. This was a gift from Rihanna. Hi Rihanna, thank you. And I think it's adorable. I like that it's very colorful and that Mickey is peeking out from the color. And the actual shape of the top is cute. The straw doesn't come out. So this one is also a double walled um, cup. And this is great. So this holds it pretty long as well. And you don't get the water sweating or, or leaking um, to get your your table or whatever wet. So that's a really fun one. Moving over to our next cubby, we have this bowl. And look at this classic Mickey in the bowl. He is so cute. I love his gloves and the pie-eyed Mickey is one of my favorite versions of Mickey. So the inside of the bowl is like that bamboo. And then the outside is this gorgeous deep color, this deep red color. So Mickey is usually downstairs as a fruit bowl. We like to get the little cuties, the clementines, and we typically have this bowl full of, of clementines. The next cubby, we have this sandstone cookie, um, cookie shaper, and I've never actually cooked with him. This was a, a gift from friends several years ago, so I've always just used him as a display piece. I know once you spray them so that the cookie dough doesn't stick and then heat it, I know it, they do discolor. So I think it would work really well. Um, it's, it's very old. It's probably about 20 years old now. But for me, I've just had it um, out on display. And then behind here, now don't laugh, but these are my Minnie Mouse pizza ears. <laughs> these are the first ears I attempted to make. So they're, uh, they're pretty rough looking. So if you hold them at a distance, they might look a little better. Um, but we have an event at work where we serve pizza to our students. And we, one of the ladies that I work with wears a pepperoni hat. And so I had to uh, step it up and match her with some pepperoni pizza ears and so that has been uh, a lot of fun <laughs> all right if we move up uh, i have two popcorn buckets we do have a few other popcorn buckets but they are christmas themed from our december visits so this one and you can see we've got the mickey icon on the top and the lids are really great they have this little hook on there so when you first purchase them the lid is latched right on to the handle so they serve it to you like this and it's heaping with delicious popcorn and then you have the uh, lid right there to hang off of it 
These popcorn buckets are also really great in the parks because you can fill them with popcorn, eat the heaping part, cap it up, and then you can take it back to your resort. We have even taken it all the way back home on the plane, all the way back to Ohio to enjoy at home. But we, we really love the popcorn. I usually take a carabiner clip so that I can hang this off of like my tote bag or my backpack, and then I'm not like actually holding and carrying something. Or it's not that large, it could go inside a bag if you have a big enough bag. Uh, so this one is from Animal Kingdom Park. And I love Pluto with his little safari hat. Uh, Mickey's taking pictures and Goofy's driving. I don't know if that's the best choice. <laughs> and the giraffes are, are sweet. You can see it says Animal Kingdom. Minnie's inspecting some bugs and uh, Donald is looking at the, the map. So they look like they're on a safari with lots of, lots of pieces on top of their, their safari vehicle. Uh, this is one from Magic Kingdom Park, you can see right here, and it is the Barnstormer. So you have Goofy with his aviator gear on, and he's got a little monkey there. And you see Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Donald are actually riding the Barnstormer. So very cute artwork, it looks just like the actual ride and all the, the graphics that are around it. And uh, this is a, a nice color lid. This one's more of a, a gloss lid and this one has like a pearlescent look. So they do come, um, you know, in all different varieties. We haven't yet ventured into the popcorn buckets that are shapes, like the alien popcorn buckets, but there's always the next trip. That's why it's fun to kind of shop and, and look around for what is current because they do change out the buckets and you can get refills for $1.50 as long as the bucket is still considered current. So we couldn't bring you know last year's buckets and still get refills. You have to purchase a, a more recent bucket. We have uh, Mickey and Steamboat Willie joining us because I just want to keep remembering that as Walt says, it all started with a mouse, and we don't want to lose sight of that. I, I love Mickey, so we'll have him uh, every time we change our background. They'll still be part of our background. The next item here is this porcelain bowl, and if you take a close look, you can see the tree of life. You can see the different animals, including the giraffe very vibrant colors, gorgeous colors, and then on the inside, this will tell you where it's from. It's Disney's Animal Kingdom. And we actually purchased this bowl. I don't know if the bottom says anything special. It says Authentic Original Disney Parks, made in Thailand, and it is dishwasher and microwave safe. We purchased this one actually at Zawadi at the Animal Kingdom Resort, Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort gift shop. And this is a, is a really neat bowl. All right, next up, I'll show you this nice giant Mickey. Look at how happy his face is. <laughs> he is actually a cutting board, but we don't cut on Mickey's face. Uh, we cut on the back. And my husband especially likes this because he can chop things up and he can move stuff to one ear and stuff to the other ear and then still have a working area. So this cutting board, again is much older it's about 20 years old and this was a gift we were in um, a wedding of friends when we lived in toledo ohio and they were huge disney fans and this was the gift that they gave us for being uh, in their wedding so what a fun idea um, i just love the inlaid mickey mouse so i'm gonna put him back up there and all right the next item I'd like to show you is this silver bowl. And at first, when you just see it out on your counter, you just think it is a standard silver shiny bowl. But if you take a close look, you can see the Mickey icons and then another row of Mickey icons. And I think it's so clever because it's classy and it looks great out, but yet it's in Mickey's. So this bowl lives on our kitchen counter and it is usually filled with apples. Uh, our favorite apples are the gala apples, especially when they're grown at the local orchards here in Ohio. The honey crisps actually are the best of the best. And they, we've been having a new kind called Evercrisp, which are kind of a, a 
cross, but the honey crisps are definitely our go-to. So this bowl is usually filled with honey crisps so that we can uh, enjoy those apples as uh, snacks in, the, in our lunches and stuff. So that uh, is the first half of the background. So now we have to move to the other half. Welcome to the second half of our background tour. I want to start by showing you a few mugs. These are resort mugs and you purchase them and pay a one-time price. I think it's around 18 or 19 dollars now to purchase the mug and then it's good for the length of your stay. So if you're staying for um, five, six, seven days, however long, that is how long you can take the cup up you set it on the drink machine and there's an RFID chip thing in here and it activates and allows the soda or tea or whatever you are choosing to fill up the mug. These are a few years old. They go through different designs as far as the picture and also there was a whole great debate where they took the handles off for a while. Sometimes the handles are white and the lids are the only thing that's different color and they have changed the colors of the lids. In this past Christmas we went, they had uh, seasonal ones, so that was fun too. So we have a nice variety. Here you can see um, how they did the white handles for a while, and um, we, I kind of prefer them with the colored handles. So um, once you take the colored lid off, uh, everybody in the family's mug looks the same when they have the white handle. So it's kind of nice to differentiate with the colored handle. Um, but those have been fun. And when you do the Disney dining package, those are included. So that is really fun. Uh, the next item, we have some cookie cutters. And we got these uh, in Disney World. I believe we got them in the Emporium. And they're just cookie cutters. We've used them for everything from toast and sandwiches to actual cookies to pancakes, cutting pancakes and cutting Rice Krispie treats. So they're a lot of fun. It's kind of neat to see what you can uh, push into a, a Mickey Mouse shape. <laughs> Next up, I'd like to show you the annual pass holder cutting board. This cutting board is from the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot and this was a gift for annual pass holders this year. Um, we did not get to go to this however shout out to Kelly hello thank you her and Dan went and she brought back one of the cutting boards for me. So what a special gift. Um, I really love it and uh, am, am excited to include it in my Disney kitchen collection. We have a few Disney coffee mugs, some varieties, both with handle and without. And these mugs seem really neat. They have some great variety in terms of the artwork on them. However, we will not be purchasing any more of them because it seems that every time we've had them, you drink and it just le it leaks and dribbles and is very messy. And I'm not sure if it is the way they go together with the metal or the types of lids. I I'm not sure why, but we just haven't had good success with these. So um, we use these just as holders. I actually have these at work and can hold pencils and things like that in them. So these aren't working coffee mugs for us, but they still have cool artwork. Um, this one especially is the a Disney conservation logo. Really love that Disney D and you can see all the different animals on here. So the purchase of this, and it has like a wood grain look to it, the purchase of this um, benefited their conservation fund, and I really like that. Um, sitting inside the Mickey's coffee mug, <laughs> which is really fun. Let me take these out, they're kind of loud. This is actually um, Disney silverware. That is correct. So we needed some backup silverware. You know when you always run out of spoons for your cereal and you're like, man, come on, we need some more. So we purchased these. They carry them in the parks and you, we could use our annual pass holder discount for them. And I just love that they, again, they're pretty straightforward pieces of silverware. You wouldn't notice much. And then you see, oh, it's got the Mickey icon on the bottom. So it's very uh, clever. 
it, it is a little funny. The spoon is almost like a, a baby spoon. <laughs> it's pretty small, but it's uh, it's it's really nice to have the extra silverware, and it holds up pretty well in the dishwasher and and everything. All right. Next up, we have our Young Living diffuser, and there's water in here and essential oils, and so it adds a beautiful fragrance to the air, and it also is beneficial depending on what essential oil you put in. You can have ones that are energizing, like peppermint, or you can have something like lavender and have it be very calming. So this is something that we enjoy in our household, so we do uh, use it up here when we're filming so that we can enjoy that. This is a, um, like one of those, what is it, melamine or a plastic plate, and shout out to Chris, thank you. Uh, Chris and his wife found us a set of these plates when they were out shopping one day, and the boys especially love these. These are great for, for lunches at home, and I think that Mickey is really cute and uh, very colorful and, and fun. <laughs> All right, so next up, I'll show you this big silver Mickey Mouse. This is from a friend at work named Sarah, and she had this and used it with her kids for several years, and someone had given it to her before that, and since she knew I enjoyed Disney, she decided to pass it along to me. So it's actually a Mickey Mouse cake pan. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see uh, the other side of it. And we haven't used it for cake, but we have made Rice Krispie treats and pressed them in here and they turned out great. And then we could cut them off and the boys thought it was fun to eat an ear or a foot. <laughs> but it worked perfect. It was a great size for just an entire batch of uh, Rice Krispie treats. So that was fun. We haven't actually tried doing a cake in there yet, but I would feel too uh, much the need to decorate it, and I am no cake decorator. <laughs> so we've, uh, but we've enjoyed it. He's got that happy face. Uh, we've got a couple of water bottles here. Uh, these are also from, I don't know if it says, but they're from Target. And we have the Mickey silhouette waving and also pie-eyed Mickey, this face. And then they're just red, the rest of it. And these are very nice. They almost remind me of like a milk bottle look. And they do have a double walled metal. So that's great. Um, they keep water cold for a long time. And since they're a smaller size than like Hydro Flask or some of the other bigger water bottles that we have, we're able to have the boys, these are actually Noah and Abraham's bottles. They can carry those in their backpacks or their bags and they're a little bit smaller when we're in the parks or traveling around for, for the day and you can refill them then. All right, well next up we have a few salt and pepper shakers. Um, like I said, everything here is working and we use it all in our kitchen. So we do have a pepper grinder and a salt grinder and you can see they get a lot of love. Uh, because we need to actually refill them, which we can do. But I just love that shiny black Mickey icon head and then you twist his head and then the pepper comes out or you twist the head and the salt comes out. So again, I think that it looks classy and they're grinders, which are very nice, but they don't all have to be like the Mickey Mouse yellow and red and black colors. They just kind of um, blend in and, and look like a hidden Mickey to me. Uh, we have a couple sets of salt and pepper shakers. These are like ceramic and we have Mickey is the salt and Minnie is the pepper. And it says Minnie Mouse and then the back says Mickey Mouse with their signatures. So that's really cute. <laughs> I really like the, the colors. All right, the next salt and pepper shakers we have are a set from the Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland. And I did purchase these in the Emporium and I love the kind of retro look of the stars. And then they're pretty plain, so the castle is salt and the rocket is pepper. All right. The next salt and pepper shakers we have are the trash can salt and pepper shakers. How fun are these? So they, this one is the Polynesian Resort and this is Main Street USA at Magic Kingdom. And they're just so clever with the, the artwork on them. You have the Main Street vehicles. 
in the little push. So really clever. This one is our salt and the darker one is our pepper. They have uh, a variety of different trash can, park trash cans. So you can kind of select ones that are, are some of your favorites. And then we also have a little yin yang Mickey with the dark and the light. And of course this one is pepper and the white one is salt. And they have um, a little magnet here in the middle. So they magnet together. And again, I think it's kind of classy looking. Um, and it's a little bit of a, of a hidden Mickey almost for that one. So all of these are working salt and pepper shakers, either by our stove or on our table, and, uh, and we use them. I have one more item that I would like to show you from the background collection. And this is a pizza paddle that you can put your pizza on, and it says, Pizza Planet. And you are probably familiar with that from Toy Story. Pizza Planet is where Andy goes, and of course, when we're at Pizza Planet, we have the aliens who are in the claw machine. So it's recessed in there, or kind of burned in there, both the Pizza Planet word and the little green alien men. The other side is the side that we actually cut on, and then this side is more for uh, looks, or if you have the pizza cut, then you can put it on that side to uh, present it. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to have a pizza paddle that says Pizza Planet. <laughs> it's really neat to incorporate some of these items into our um, daily life. It gives us a smile. And I hope that you have enjoyed this tour of our background. Thanks for sticking with me through this tour of our background, exciting items that put a little bit of a Disney touch in our kitchen. And I'm wondering if you have any Disney touches in your kitchen. Please leave a comment down below and let me know how Disney sneaks its way into your kitchen. And if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And that just means that you will um, not miss any of our Disney content videos. And if you push the little bell, that means it sends you a notification when I upload new videos. So. I am so glad you joined us today. I did want to mention that I'm wearing my Mickey Mouse flannel shirt, and this is actually from Uniglow, one of the shops in Disney Springs. I find it kind of hard to shop for clothes at Disney Springs because I'm with my husband and my sons, and you know, nobody really wants to try on clothes or, or shop around for that type of stuff. Well, we don't really want to when we're on vacation. And I don't really like shopping for clothes anyways. It's kind of hard to get things that fit or the right textures and all that stuff. So, um, but anyways, this was a good find at Uniqlo. And I think it was like $12 or something. So they have some neat stuff there. Some really unique Disney items and t-shirts and things like that. So it's always fun to wear Disney items in uh, everyday life. Sometimes at school we have flannel Fridays, and so this is the, the flannel that I, I like to wear. So it's, it's fun. So I hope that you uh, are enjoying your tea and have a great week and smile. Bye.